iOS 26 Beta 6 is an amazing update. It has been released for a couple of days now and it brings so much to iOS 26. iOS 26 never have been improved more than with this update. So this is the update to install on your iPhone and you can see when you use it, it's actually ready for release. Apple has done an amazing job and even if they would have released it today to the public, it probably wouldn't be a problem. So in today's video, we're talking about this update and we have have a lot more features to talk about some of the features that we have missed and even probably you that might have this update on your device didn't know that they're here and we're starting with the app store so when you head on to your app store and you go to the apps where you have your updates on your account then you will find the list of apps here you probably know that you can actually delete any app that you want directly from this page simply by swiping like this but what you will see right now here is a new redesign delete button for the updated apps that you have right here under your account now with this update the liquid glass design has been improved a lot it also has been added to more ui elements on iOS 26, like on the Notes app. If you go to the Notes app and you go to attach here a scan, whether you want it to scan a text or a document, if you tap here, now the elements are actually with the liquid glass design. Of course, it's hard to notice it here because we have the camera all dark right there, but all these pop-ups and everything here will now have the new liquid glass design. Now previously on a previous video I showed you guys the new reflection that we get the new reflection effect right here on the home screen icons. Well Apple has added that to the control center as well on the previous update but with this update you will also find it right on the icons on your app library and not just that this new effect which is actually really cool it makes the icons look much much better than they were previously that effect has been added to the dock as well not just to the icons of the dock that has been here before but to the dock itself and it actually looks really cool on safari when you go to a website and when you swipe up like this you can see now we have a right there the address bar and now it's much smaller so it will basically make it smaller and you still see all the time right there the website you're in anytime you want to expand it you simply tap right there and it brings back everything so you can see right here if we go like just swiping on a website it of course removes everything if we tap right there the bar here and of course the address bar are back on their full size. Now one really cool thing that Apple has done with the button bars here on apps like the App Store, the Photos app, the Music app, they have made the colors here brighter a bit and also have added a bit of like a frosted effect or maybe just bring down a bit the reflection of the liquid glass design. And now it's actually much, much easier for you to actually see what you're tapping on and on which tab you're at, of course. If you're on the background like this, it's all white. That's not a problem. But when you go to something that has like colors, you will see right there that sometimes it was really hard to read what that tab is. But now, of course, it looks much, much better. And you can see we can switch between different colors right there. And it's still very easy to read what that tab says. On the preview app, on the previous video, we talked about these two buttons that Apple has added, like bigger buttons here to, st to start a scan or just add a new document. But you can also create now a document from here. You will have that button. So it's like a little file with a plus in the middle. You tap right here and you will be able to actually cr just create a new document directly from there, which is, of course, a very useful, very convenient, much, much faster for you to start creating a document right on the the preview app. Now on the Photos app, you will also see the splash screen. Once you open the Photos app for the first time with this new beta, you will see a new splash screen, basically letting you know what's new with Photos on iOS 26. So you will have the updated navigation, more customization for your collections, which is really awesome. Probably the best new feature of the Photos app on iOS 26. And then you will have explore spatial scenes this is also a cool feature, especially when you combine it with the new lock screen of iOS 26. You can actually get very creative and have some amazing looking lock screens on your device running the new iOS 26. 
Also on the shortcuts app, when you go to add a new shortcuts, you will see this section right here, select the variable and also ask each time you will see this has completely been redesigned. The way they look is totally new, which is also really awesome. Now here's another great thing coming to AirPods with iOS 26. But of course, this will be available later. But with this beta, this actually has been found on the code of iOS 26 beta 6. This image right here. Now, what we're talking about here is the app, the actually the translation, the live translation feature that Apple talked about at WWDC 2025. So you can see right here, it says basically hello in a few languages, and it shows you what you have to do to start the translation. So with both AirPods, you just press and hold them both with two fingers and it will actually start using this feature, which is really awesome. Again, this will most likely be enabled with the next releases, but it has been found on the code of iOS 26. Now, these are some of the new features that you probably have missed on the new beta of iOS 26. Otherwise, as I said at the beginning of the video, this is an amazing update, something that you would, of course, easily install on your daily device and wouldn't even have a problem using it on daily basis. It's actually really fast, really fast animations. Apple has actually sped up the animations quite a lot. And as we talked about earlier, added new animations to the dock. It looks really, really awesome and it seems much, much faster. And even overall, the device is actually very, very smooth and very stable when using it with the sixth beta of iOS 26. So if you're on iOS 26, make sure that you have updated to this beta. If you're on the public beta, most likely you will get the update today or maybe tomorrow, but I believe it will be today as usually Apple will release the public release of the public beta of an iOS version like a couple of days after the dev, which has been Monday. Today, most likely will be the release of the second or the third, whichever it is, public beta. So what's next? Well, we will get the new beta most likely this Monday. So the 18th of August should be the day that Apple releases the beta 7 of iOS 26. Now, just taking a look at these last couple of betas, the beta 5 and especially the beta 6, I'm really, really excited to see what Apple has in store for this update. So by far, this has been the best update to iOS 26, beta 6. Beta 7 should be even better. Most likely a lot of improvements, a lot of new features and a lot of like adjustments on the current features. And hopefully we'll also get a bit of better battery life because that's probably only the, the only section where iOS 26 is still actually a bit behind when it comes to comparing it with of course iOS 18. So that's basically it for this video guys. These are some of the great new features of iOS 26 beta 6 that you probably didn't know about. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course leave a like on this video and I will see you on the next one.